Okay, here I am again. I've, I've still got that um, photograph open and I'm just thinking that there's a little bit more I can do with this. So what I'm going to do here with this one, and this will help me show something uh, else that's quite interesting. If I go to layers, I can actually duplicate that photograph as a separate layer underneath it. And how do I know? It's because of this device over here, which is the layers uh, panel. And you can actually see that there are now two identical copies, I mean, and that's what we chose. We chose layer duplicate. Uh, so we've now got two copies of it, one on top of the other. Now we'll see what that does for us in just a minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and adjust the brightness and contrast, do another clarify. This is called tone mapping. Um, it's um, in the in the new version. It's called tone mapping. Now see what it's done it's really messed up the sky the sky looks pretty awful but the building actually looks quite rustic and and and, and, and ghostly and it's quite interesting actually and I quite like the uh, brightness of the grass and and so on so I'm going to accept that now remember we've got another layer here okay so we're currently active on the top layer so if we were to use the rubber and have a fairly big brush uh, we can actually rub out that horrible top layer remember we're now rubbing away what's on the top layer and showing what's on the bottom layer okay so I'm just doing this very roughly uh, but you see I'm not being too careful because I don't need to be here in actual fact if I run the brush over that church bell tower it actually brightens it up which is what I want and that chimney and that one and that one as well I'm not going to run it over the trees too much I'm going to overlap slightly and I'm going to take that corner out and that says to a quite um, interesting photograph there so and I'll take a little bit more off there as well. So uh, we've now got this and the other thing is if I scroll really into that we can actually see it's quite noisy. Um, it, you know that it's quite noisy. So what I can do, the other thing that I can do if I minimize that again, uh, if I go to this last one which is uh, noise removal so what this is going to do and uh, if I uh, bring this down what you'll see is down the bottom here you've got a green bar going along here now what that's doing is it's just merging the pixels and, and, and doing a lot of calculations to actually bring this together and smooth it out and uh, when we have that one finished when the green bar reaches the end we will see just a little bit more painterly uh, look and feel to it even though it's probably already looking fairly painterly but it's just a little um, end piece that I like to do with certain images it uh, kind, kind of doesn't work with people um, you tend to get fuzziness so that's it gone um, I'm going to go back and have a look at this and I'm going to look at that so we can see here it's smoothed off, there's no speckles like there was before in the shadows and um, zooming back out you know it certainly hasn't diminished the overall effect of the photograph. So um, that was um, just a little bit of a push on that original photograph that we took, we corrected it remember, we've now pushed it as far as we can but we've used layers to actually back out of some of the nastiness that was in the sky. So that's all for this one and uh, we'll look at something else in the next few days or so. Thanks for listening.